Welcome to my next Let's Play Adventure. I am your host, the Reese of the Wally Gaming, and this game is the original Ratchet and Clank on the PS2. So it's not the version of the PS3 or the PS Vita, which later got ported. Well, which later got ported over the PS Vita. So don't know why I said that. But this is actually the bare bones of PS2 from the same guys who gave you Spyro. You know, a childhood hero from the PS1 days. And, you know, this is actually a personal favorite of mine because I remember I, I, when I first got on PlayStation 2 with Prince of Persia Sense of Time, there was a demo disc. And with the demo disc, um, with the demo disc, it came with Regent and Clank, um, Pac Man World 2, and something else. Um, something else, but Resident Clank was the main one I played a lot. Anyways, the reason why I actually chose the original PlayStation 2 version is because I got it. So, you know, why not play it? Um, I don't really want to try the PS3 version, and then, then there might be some censorship, such as like the Budokai collection where. The music got changed over to Tenkai Chi music, or and um, probably the move got censored, and I think some other moves got censored as well. And what else? And they skipped out two entirely. Like I don't really want something like that. I just want the game foundation as it is. Like you know, see, like if you censor something, the human curiosity is, what did they censor? If someone tells you. Oh, they censored that bit. Cause we got YouTube now. We was gonna, we're gonna go look for it. We're gonna go look for what's been censored, and I don't really want to be the guys, you know, to say, you know, I don't want to be the guys wrecking my brain that they censored. I want to be the guys wrecking people's brain that they censored. It's like, um, this is off topic. Like I was talking to my friend about, um, um an anime because I read the manga called Tokyo Ghoul. I know. Uh, Pretty sure some of you heard of it because it's got it's getting bigger nowadays. And then you know he was talking to me about the anime. And he said, "Oh, I love the anime." And I said, "You know, they censored it a lot." And he goes, "No, I must read the manga." And I just like with my I just deal with an evil smile on my face, like, "Yes, you, you missed out the best part." But that's an off-topic topic. Yeah, I just didn't want it. I don't want the censored version of, of games. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I just want, I wasn't meant to be there, to be there. Like, you know, if there's like, some pornography stuff, sorry for a little freeze. Is this a, yeah, there is some little freeze trying to cut me because, as I said, I fixed my laser and I haven't tried, I've tried it on every game, but I wasn't sure about the cut screens. So, sorry if this seems a bit slow. I hope this gameplay is so. Oh, right, yeah, it's kind of slow. No, no, I don't. I want to get some boxes. Some of that box. I don't remember this gameplay being the. Well, I don't remember Ratchet being the slow, but saying this, I only played this game not too long ago. Like. I know, I suppose you, as you get more in through the game, you get used to movement. Um, okay. Kill these frog ass motherfuckers. Uh, this is actually a good break from Grand Theft Auto, because Grand Theft Auto is actually a pretty large game. I mean, large as in map wise, um, also story elements of it. I just didn't really have much story elements. It's like, oh, Frank, Captain Quark, and finally, you Captain Quark is a big coward. And then, you know, you decide to save the world yourself. Simple, right? San Andreas, oh, you came, you came out from Liberty City, and I can't remember the rest. Like, it goes over my head because I can, you can't really, I can't keep up with plot. Right? And I kept up with plot with a lot of games, like the Metal Gear series. Oh boy, keep, keeping up with that, keeping up with that was hell. Like, I just recently, I recently just finished Peace Walker, and I was like, boy, where does it fit the timeline? And I found the timeline, read it, 
And I was like, for a game that's about a soldier, you know, it's very complex. It's, it's, it's like complex and convoluted at the same time. Double jump. Yes, the double jump feature. And the smashing, you know. I swear Ratchet was just a joke, man. Like, he happened to have a Ratchet as a main weapon. And he thought, you know, it's cool by by main weapon, Ratchet. But it turns out for a game you get friggin' guns and shit, and you can, can do like megaton damage and shit. Um, another game series I would like to play for myself, like your guys, is. Oh crap, my RT button stuck. I need to get a new controller. They're cheap now, so I don't know, don't know why I've decided not to pick up one. I mean, I do have other, I do have other, you know, resonance in my house that plays PS2. Uh, I'll worry about that later. But yeah, um, I like to play Jack and Dexter series, but as I, as I think about that, I dread about Jack and Dexter 2 because I don't really like the game. I felt the game was, um, what's the word? I don't know. I just didn't like the game. But the idea of going to the future is great enough. That was close. And I'm, oh, I'm going. The idea of going to the future that's a great that's a great concept. If you can do it well, you know, you have a great game on your hands. And you know, the idea of the main hero going evil was actually great as well. What I didn't like was it was it was basically a GTA version of thing. Of Ratchet and Clank. But Ratchet and Clank. I was talking about Jack and Dexter 2. Fuck. Well yeah, Jack and Dexter 2. Didn't like it. Jack and Dexter 3. Uh I didn't mind it. Whoops. I'm not supposed to jump into that. I want my pistols. I haven't played Red and Clank 2 because in England it's actually pretty rare find. I like I found it in my local game shop for about five pounds, and at the time, I didn't have the money with me. So next time, maybe. I mean, Street Fighter releases two week, two weeks away, and that's really something I'm looking definitely looking forward to. I didn't go there. Like, from when Deep Street Fighter free, it is technically free in the series, but some from where Street Fighter. Five got announced in the series. I was actually pretty hyped for it. Like, what's, what was it? Like, I've been following news and trends, following like fighting game people, like Maximilian Do. Shouts out to him. I like it. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've been following him, other players. That does like fighting games. That I won't say let's plays like you know how to plays. And you know, they've all been great, and they actually been updating me on the news, such as now my favorite character Ken in Street Fighter Five is pretty crap that nobody wants to touch him. Not even you know the Ken Masters. Um, I just stop with the jokes. Why is it freezing so much? Can I just skip over this and explain it? No. I don't remember the game being this scratched up. I don't think it should be this scratched up. I mean, I'm, and it's already a bit late for me to like say, alright, I'm going to cut the production and play something else. Because I've got nothing else to play. Uh, yeah, I don't, no, I don't have anything else to play, showcase. Like, I really want to share this with you guys. Yeah, I can skip it. Alright, cool. Yeah, I remember you wanted to destroy world, so you go to Quark. Quark. I don't know what to say, right? But he's like the Johnny Warrior of the series. Um, I'm surprised they kept all the voice actors from, like, from the from the first game, like. You know, as they go on, you thought they would just start changing them up, like 
the Prince from Prince Pedro. When you got to the fourth game, which wasn't in the series, which was Prince of Persia 2008, I think they used Nathan Drake's voice actor for Prince. And you know, at the time when I played the game, I actually disliked it. But after a while, after reminiscing about the game and remembering how it was like, I was like, this is actually pretty interesting. Like, the art style is great. The fight mechanics weren't exactly, weren't exactly that bad. Like, it was better than Sense of Time by far. And were then. And the Prince actually is a good character in that version. Like, he's not like the Prince in the original. Where, I wouldn't say he's a bitch, but he's sort of, he, he came across a bit like, like it. Like, he only did things out of honor, whereas Prince Persia 2008, the Prince, as he called himself, did it out of. Why? I mean, he did it out of shits and giggles. Because the story starts out he's looking for his donkey. I can't skip this, so. I'm gonna deal with this, and probably. This is probably my first and last. Yes, okay. Uh, let's go around. I don't think I've been here before. I, I, I might have. Okay, let's go around first. When you go around, you get some money. Or bolts. I thought he was one of the few characters in the early 2000s at this point. Like, swimming was a concept that most characters don't have. Saying that Spyro could swim too, and this one seems to be me Spyro, so... Why should I be surprised? I shouldn't be, should I? I don't think Crash Bandicoot does, no. Well, actually, technically, he has water levels, like Mario. So, would you got swimming? Um, yep, I think this game was one of the first ones that had um, the air system. Oops. Was it that clean? I think I know about him. Yeah, there's what I had water in the system, like. Spyro, you can stay on under water for as long as you want. But I'm not sure what Spyro 3 because I haven't got so far. And I'm recently downloaded it on PS3 and my PS3 GPU died. Thanks for that PS3. Like, like, thanks. Like, I don't have any more games I need, I need to finish. <laughs> so, you know, I'll have to go take it a new one. Is there anything down here? Okay. Got some fast. So he's not exactly a fast swimmer. Yes, I'm aware that you're that old person. I don't think I've been here before. Mm, no, I haven't. I mean, yeah, I played this game like a couple of months ago. You know, finished it. Like, went, collected everything just to get that, get that rhino. Because that gun's like a like, mega gun of Jack and Clank games. So, yeah, um, I don't think I've been here. So I think the first time I went, you know what, let's go straight ahead. So it's a little bit too much on the stuff, but whew. what can I do right? Um, which way do I go through here? I wonder if I get a gold bolt from this. So I remember the PSP version and the PS3 version, tools of destruction, quest of beauty, and quest. Cracking time, I haven't played the other one. You get. Oh, yeah, it does just go around. Right, you get. <laughs> anyway, you, you can get costumes out of those gold bolts. Right, they even have a Jack and Dexter kind of costume. They had um, different versions of Ratchet, because you know, Ratchet's been out for years. Let's try to actually get the pistol first. Shows, shows how long I actually played the game. Ooh. But I remember the price of the rhino. That, that price, oh that price is disgusting. That price, that, that, that like, the immediate air went, you know, 
because he's broke, I'm going to uh, I'm going to ask him for an audacious amount of money. So they will bumblebee tend to dot well. That's eight less than mm. Thank you for your thoughts. Well done, listen. Well done. Try to be stylish there. Try to jump in front. But clearly, it didn't want to work. Thank you for standing me up here. Okay. I know you get some upgrade stuff. So I know four health is not enough. Like you can't, I don't think I'll finish the game with full health. I'll check my finish it later. later. Okay. This, I know this friend fire in this game, because... Some enemies are taking out friendly fire. Boy. Hmm. I don't know how to word that. Alright, I've got enough for the flamethrower. I think if there's a PS3 version, yeah, I'll go buy it. Because, you know, there's probably, there's, there's probably going to be a tr trophy, like, get all, get all weapons or something like that. But, I'm not wrong. Like, there was so much trophies for, like, Sly Cooper. And most of them were just the basic ones, just to get a bronze. Some some of the basic ones like um, do this all all this challenge. It's like a silver. So yeah, I can't. Yeah. So I'm guaranteed that this is probably is now I'll probably be like a gold trophy get all the weapons. I don't know. Like I said, if the price is cheap, I would buy the collection. But yeah, ten pounds. I'm looking for the disc is actually pretty rare in England, London in general. Because, well, some of our game shops have it and some of us don't. And trust me, to get to the. Trust me, where I. what part I'm from in London to get to the most. to get to the most shop. shopping district areas. It is a journey. Like, it is. So, such a joy, it's not even fun. Okay. I think I'm going to finish this. Yep. I don't remember any of this. I remember, all, I only remember two places, that's from the demo. That's how, that's how much time I actually played the demo and what. My PS2 is a good demo disc. Oh gosh. Can I not skip this? I swear this sound just got cut out. Oh gosh. Has this ever happened to you? Alright, I'm just a ball too long here. I swear I can. Oh yeah, if I go to, if I go to that little shack, I get ratchets, helicopter, if, um, what would you call it? Yeah, helicopter equipment. Yeah, he's he's totally like Johnny Bravo in the series. You know how Johnny Bravo is just like big, tall, dark, and handsome. Not that I judge, but you look how Johnny Bravo is like that when you get the girl. Captain Quark's like a tall, muscular person who looks like he'd be a hero, but it turns out he's a coward instead. It's basically that. I can't skip this. Okay, the ship's back. I remember to finish the level, take the ship. Maybe I should put subtitle in. 
Oh, uh, point. Yay, new planet. Oh, I don't know why the game freezes every time I do cutscene. I'll fix that out later because I like the um, crack ones on um, cutscene. I like crack ones on cutscene. I'll talk to the drop, um, the instructor about the scene shot. See, I remember that much. But what I don't remember is this part of the film game. This is like a mystery. Don't know why I said that in like that kind of way. I've got nothing for thing for a. Uh, I want a pistol though. Oh, I didn't take out two boxes. To be fair, I probably didn't take out any like anything else. Um, do I go back and check? No, I'll, I'll, I'll do it just in case. Just in case. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. Nope. Come on. Yeah. So, this is the first of the series. I'm going to try to sort out the cutscene problem. I don't know if my game's just scratched or if my PlayStation 2 is bugging out, but it shouldn't be because it plays the same drift cutscenes even more. Even more. Even more. The place I drink Dreas cuts in fine, but for bro. So I know Sanchez can't do it in this. And I I need for the buttons when we do. Anyway. I've been your host, the Reese One Five of the Light Gaming, giving you Reggie and Clank for the PS2. I hope you enjoyed this. And you know, once I fix it, the, once I fix the cutscene, there'll be more. Rate. Why do I say rate? Like the video if you did. Just like if you don't. Comment. I want to hear your personal opinions about this. How do you feel about this new, excuse me, series coming out? And make sure you subscribe to get updates on our videos. As you know getting updates you get to be on time you get to tell you you get to be the first one to say did you see what happened on this gameplay so make sure you subscribe and as i always say stay safe